Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Everyone is about to rise because the Blackest Night is coming to McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited. I, I really like the event. I liked zombie. I like, you know, even the superheroes go zombies. What can I tell you, right? But uh, yeah, pretty much uh, DC's answer to Marvel zombies. Not quite zombies, more so dead things brought back to life, but their personalities are there. Kind of, sort of. They tease this whole event back uh, 2009, a full year in advance. I remember sitting in Borders Bookstore reading comics. Yeah, that's where it was, and uh, yeah, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Black Hand, that weirdo, right? He sure likes uh, dead things. <laughs> the artwork for this series was top-notch, by the way, because where else are you going to see a zombified Aquaman riding a, uh, presumably, a dead seahorse or whatever? It was pretty dang cool. So, uh, if you couldn't tell, yes, I am very excited about uh, McFarlane Toys doing the blackest night. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, alive cup of coffee. This is a look at some of the upcoming McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse Blackest Night. And as always, if you guys are interested in anything you see below, when applicable, I will have the pre-order links down below. Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, all my affiliate links. Thanks for using them. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates like the one you're seeing right here. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So let's jump right into it, right? Old Bruce Wayne, well, not really Bruce Wayne. It's a clone skull brought to life, essentially. But we're getting a Blackest Night Batman, and he actually looks pretty dang cool. Pretty spot on to the whole source material. I'll give him that all day, and he's got one heck of a cape on him, right? All shredded. I like the, the spawn things going on, you know, every which way, you know what I'm talking about, that's probably why they picked it, but yeah, it's a very different look for Batman, like I said, Bruce Wayne, what, he was time hopping during this time, something like that, it's, you know, that old, <laughs> that old chestnut, right, everything's going zombie, and he's just time traveling, but uh, yeah, I like the open mouth, how cool would it have been to give him, like, a spray effect with all the rings popping out of it? However, I am glad that they went this route with the whole mouth is open. He's screaming, doing his thing. He doesn't come with many accessories, which, you know, it would have been nice. <laughs> Something, right? It's like a spewing mouth of Black Lantern rings. I don't know. But you'll notice that, yes, he does come with pieces for a collect-a-build figure in a stand. And they went back to comic book art for the cards. So for some of you out there... You can rest easy tonight. <laughs> Jeez. Next up, one of my favorite, if probably not my favorite, Green Lantern. Yeah, it's not Hal Jordan. It's Kyle Rayner. I like Kyle Rayner. I thought he was cool. He showed up in Superman the Animated Series. And, uh, you know, I'd always read Hal Jordan. But, you know, Hal Jordan was parallax. He went bad guy. So I liked him as parallax more than Hal Jordan. Kyle Rayner, yeah, he was pretty dang cool, and I really like the colors they've chosen for this guy. Comes with a couple accessories, he's got a Green Lantern Construct sword, really nice painted face, really nice overall, I gotta say. Uh, I give it to him all day, I hope it comes out looking as nice as it does here. The diaper thing, see, it's one of those things where sometimes, I always say the, the McFarlane photos don't do these figures justice, I'll have to wait till I see them in hand, because sometimes it goes either way, but that's one of those things where I'm like, eh. I don't know if I'm a big fan. Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But again, like I said, I'm uh, very excited to have it be Kyle Rayner. And I do love the green that they chose for this guy this time around. I like the head portrait. Comes with the core torso of the uh, collect-a-build figure. Couple accessories, like a green lantern. Lantern, right? Go figure. And then you get the trading card as well. Next up is Superman. It's not, let's say, well, in so many ways to say, well, it could be our Superman. It's uh, basically, it's Kal-El from Earth 2, so it's that Superman, because, uh, yeah, he's all decrepit. When he's, like, decrepit and skeletonized and all this kind of stuff, uh, that's the Earth 2 Superman. There was, at that time, the standard Superman. He got Black Lantern, but because he's never technically died, uh, he just kind of got mind-controlled. So we're purely talking about uh, Kal-El Superman here, and, uh, yeah, he looks pretty dang cool. Again, n no accessories, something... Black Lantern-ish, that would have been nice, right? Something like that. He's got the silver, he's got that really cool tattered cape to him, he's incredibly emaciated. 
I mean, that's what I mean. Is accessories aside and all that kind of stuff, I do think that this looks pretty dang rad. I like his red eyes amidst the black right there, the teeth, the very skeletonized face. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take much for me. When you get me like zombie, cool zombie stuff, superheroes, I'm in, right? You see, it comes with a uh, couple legs for him to chow down on. Or if you wanted to put it on the collect build figure, I guess you could do that too. But in either case, yeah, uh, I'm excited for this figure as well. Which brings us to the fourth and final figure for the Blackest Night Wave. Why, it's old Death Storm. Not. Ghost Rider, as some of you may have thought. But uh, yeah, he comes with the head of uh, the collectibild figure, comes with a little shoulder pad action, comes with the Black Lantern battery, which is actually very cool. I'm actually pretty stoked to see that. Now, in terms of who Death Storm is, we'll just say it's basically Ronnie Raymond back to life. There's a lot more to it, yada yada. It, you know, it's the comics continuity, confusion, all that kind of stuff. Just take it as it's Ronnie Raymond, and uh, yeah, he goes on a tirade. He's insane, but he looks dang cool, right? So that looks awesome. His skull's on fire. He's doing the whole thing with the Black Lantern, yada, yada. I love the way that this thing looks. Very cool to have these figures. And again, I know that they've done the DC Direct did these before. And really, when they do some of my favorite storylines, when they go back and make figures, I I'm not going to mind at all. So I definitely do not mind this wave. And uh, yeah, you get the comic book collector card as well. Now, you're probably wondering, now, who could possibly be the collector build figure? Well, if you're a big fan of the Red Lanterns, then you definitely know Atrocitus. And I got to tell you, there's not a whole lot of images just yet, so we're going to go off just primarily this one. I know for a fact this guy is a big, big figure, so you're definitely going to like the size on him. He's got a great sculpt, infinitely better than the Mattel one from way back when. So yeah, all signs point to yes on this guy. I'm glad it's not Necron, we'll just say. If they want to do a Necron later down the road and really do it like, you know, McFarlane Necron, I think they would do a good job. But uh, in kind of keeping with the War of the Lanterns, Red Lanterns, Black Lanterns, Green Lanterns. You can leave the other colors over there. Those look like the cooler ones. <laughs> I'm glad that they went with Atrocitus. So very cool, very stoked. But yeah, I'm happy to get some new Blackest Night figures. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new McFarlane figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? And like I said, when applicable, depending on when you see this video, I'll have the links all down in the description below. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I mean, at any time, if they want to do more Black Lanterns, Aquaman, Hawkman, Hawk Girl, Dead Man. I mean, the list goes on and on. Maybe you get a new, you know, Black Hand. We could do that too, even though the guy's a, a sicko. You know what I'm talking about. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.